So, as it turns out, I just, I don't pay attention. So, the instructions were actually, actually very easy. Um, the reason why I can't get into the, the wrapping the entire um, car seat is because there is a flap that needs to be taken off and tucked in. That's all it really was. But, you know, some people decide to skip instructions and, you know, just kind of wing it. And that's what happened to me. So, um, I'm going to show you what flap I'm talking about. Um, and then we'll get to installing these car seats finally. So this time I'm actually going to install the driver's side first. Um, it should be a little bit easier because I can actually jack it up um, and my seat is all the way up because I'm short. So just like last video, position your seat in a way that you can get to the back and take out all the garbage um, and also reach the front. And I'm going to move it all the way up just for just to take that little thing off that I was telling you about so I can show you exactly what it is. So back here the seat has this sort of uh, carpety uh, flap and it actually clips onto the bottom here so you're gonna act as if you're gonna take this off. There's a band all the way at the bottom that you have to unclip in order to take the actual thing off and it just pretty much just slaps off. Just like that. So this is tied around um, the bottom there. What you want to do with this is pretty much just take it off and flip it up like this. Now you could use like a piece of tape and just leave it up here, but you're going to need this space open to be able to put on the top of the seat. I'm going to put on the bottom first. I just wanted to make sure that I could unclip this. So same process as last time. Flip this up. All the way around. Just like this. Position it. And then we'll start flipping things down. You're going to go to the back and pull the seat cover down. Flip this up, and you're gonna pull this down. Try to pull as much as you can. Make it real tight. And these you should be able to take to the bottom with those clips. This is where these clips come into play. You're gonna hook them to this and drag them down and be able to clip them to the metal underneath. This part is going to go here like this. You're going to drag it all the way down and clip it. Same thing for the rest of them. Now that the back is done, we're going to tuck in the sides using one of these trim tools. On this side you won't have anything to tuck it to, so all you want to do is just make sure that it's pushed all the way down in there.
Down here, you're gonna repeat the process with these front ones. Just like this. Just double up. And just like that, the bottom of this is done. Pretty simple. Just slide it right over the top. Once you get the top on, just like this, should have a seat cover that looks like this. The next thing will be just putting on the headrest. Here's where things get a little tricky. Alright, you have to cut out the top here so that you can fit those headrests into them. Now you have to be very precise not to screw this up because you only get one shot. Show you guys so you don't screw this up. So you're gonna do a small square just like that and you're gonna stretch it and tuck it around that just like this. All right and you're gonna repeat for the other side. So, I'm not going to show you guys how to do the other side, I'm just going to repeat the steps. Just know that it's going to be a little bit harder for you to do the passenger side just because there's less room. So if you have big hands, you might have to take off the seat. Um, I have small hands so I should be able to sneak under there perfectly. Um, but this is what the seat looks like guys. What do you think? I think it looks pretty freaking legit. All red, I mean, a nice tight finish, glove fit. And once I put the other seat in, I think it's going to look freaking awesome. But thank you guys again for watching. I'm going to get to doing the next seat. And then I'll show you guys at the end some clips of, uh, you know, what it looks like. But thanks again. See you in the next one. Peace.